everyone! So I have a video for you today. Um, this video is actually a haul and it's kind of a mix between an online order and actually going into the store because I couldn't wait any longer. I had to go to the store and, you know, pick up the products and smell them and, you know, see what I had, you know, coming to me since, you know, I had ordered most of the products online. But the order was actually delayed because it went to my old address. Let me go ahead and show you what I picked up in the store. And once again, I get a nice, you know, big bag. And as I said in the last video, Ghost is my, now my number one favorite product. So I picked up a giant bottle of Ghost. So this is the 6.9 fluid ounce bottle. I definitely won't be selling this. I know a lot of people pick these up and then they sell them for an inflated price once they're all sold out and everything. I will not be doing that with my Ghost because... I really like, wish I could get like four more bottles of this because it's so amazing. So, Ghost. So it's cheaper to buy the the big bottle than it is to buy a small bottle because you're actually, well it's not cheaper obviously, but you're saving more money. You know, because if you get two small bottles, um, which a small bottle is about half that. So if you get a small bottle it's about $16, so technically you could spend $32, did I do that right? Yeah, $32 for a big bottle if you doubled it and everything, you know what I'm saying? But if you get the big bottle, it's only 24. So you're saving money. I love saving money. All right, I kind of mixed all of my other stuff in here. I have like a giant bag out in my living room of blush that needs to still be put away, but I haven't pulled out my little organizer yet because we actually put an offer in on a house, so I don't really want to pull everything out and then just have to put it all back away. So it makes me depressed to see all my lush just, you know, packed away. I, I'm afraid it feels like I don't love it, but I do, so I just don't want to see it. I want to see their sad faces. So another thing I picked up was Pow Wow. Um, now Pow Wow, I didn't order in my online order because I was like, eh, I don't know, spinach and, you know, Pop Rocks? It doesn't sound really, you know, appetizing. So. I picked it up in the store and I smell it. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. It's so... It smells like Pop Rocks and you don't smell spinach in there. This, this will sound really, you know, unappealing, but it kind of reminds me of like when I was little and I would go with my mom to her hairdresser and <laughs> she would get her hair like permed and stuff or I don't remember what she did, but she was in there forever. I mean, I think we've all been there where we're little and mom takes you to Hallmark or she takes you somewhere that's really boring and you get to sit there for like hours upon hours. Well this kind of reminds me of when she would get her hair done. I don't know if it's because of the chemicals, which obviously those chemicals aren't in this little guy, but so it does have spinach in it, uh, rose hip, rose hip oil, argan oil, lime oil. That's what I smell is the lime. It's really strong, but I mean it's really Pop Rocky. That's right. I just made that a word. Get it? Rocky? Hots. Anyways. So, what you do is you put it on your lips. I'm not going to do it because I have like lipstick on right now, but you put it on your lips, you scrub it on there, and then you can lick it off and... I don't even hear that. It's straight up Pop Rocks. And it's pretty chunky, so it makes a lot of a mess. A lot of a mess? A big mess. But, it's really yummy. I like it. So, alright, what was this? I think this was from my last order. Let me see what else I got. I know I got, ooh, I actually got a hand treatment when I went in. I'm really starting to like this store, so I'm excited. Because every time I go in there, I'm like, hey, and they're all excited to see me, and yeah, it's like they're getting to know me. But I have not forgotten my one true love, Armitage. I haven't. So anyways, Jilted Elf. I got a hand treatment with Jilted Elf and the... Australian Igloo, I believe that's what it's called, um, and so I just took a piece of this and we just rubbed it in our hands for like a good minute, minute and a half, and then she gave me a little bit of the sugar scrub, and it has eucalyptus in it, which I think I have a thing for eucalyptus, a, a, a big thing. Um, I guess Lush is now able to use eucalyptus in some of their products because they finally found a, um, a steady source, like a... Um, a source I can take from because I never wanted to take it just because it is koala's food and they don't want to take koala's food because they're so cute and everything. So anyways, I had that. The smell stayed on my hands for a good whole day. I mean, when I woke up the next morning, even after taking a shower, I could still smell this on my skin. So I think it's definitely a big part of the Jilted Elf and also the Australian Igloo, which I didn't pick up, which now I'm so depressed. I might go tonight and pick up 
from Australian Igloo, along with an abominable, abominable, can't say it, oh my god, that's almost, oh, it's already getting all, like, soapy. Anyways, so the Jilted Elf has, let's see, figs, which I don't smell a whole lot of, honey, cinnamon leaf oil, I have a little bit of cinnamon leaf in here, it's a little bit spicy, grapefruit oil, vodka, can't go wrong with vodka, and they finally figure out how to get the, like, I don't know if it was for this one, because I swear, what was it, Sweetie Pie, was that what it's called? I'm not a huge jelly fan, unless it's like the Christmas jellies, but they have the glitter kind of floating in there, and it looks really pretty, and it just, I don't know if you could really tell, it's beautiful, and it smells amazing. So I got the small one of that, because like I said, I don't use the jellies a whole lot. I have two big things of iced wine sitting in my storage, because I love that one so much, and I have about almost an empty one of these of the ice wine and another small one of ice wine I believe that are sitting in my freezer along with my whoosh which I only use during like spring because it's got that nice zingy fla like I almost said flavor smell that kind of wakes you up so Jilted Elf what else did I get in here what's that no see I have to go through all of my stuff that I actually purchased in store I think that's it okay so when I went to the store, I told my boyfriend, I was like, don't let me buy anything that I've already ordered that's coming in the mail because I don't want to put in an order for something and then be like, oh, I can't wait any longer and then go get another one. And then I'm like, you know, a little too stocked on everything. I'm trying to stop um, stocking up as much as I do, at least until the sale, if they have the sale. I don't know if I told everyone that. They're probably not going to have a Christmas sale this year just because of last year a lot of um, a lot of stores were hoarding products and other stores weren't able to get enough products for the sale and everything and they were already sold out within like an hour. So it's really sad that some people have to ruin it for others because I love the sale. I love the feeling when you go in the sale. I had so much fun last year with Kelly and Mallory. We had a great morning. We were exhausted, but we loved it. So hopefully this year they'll still have something. If they do have a little bit of a sale, it's going to be within the first couple of hours. Everything's going to be sold out because they're not going to produce a whole ton of products. Now this is just what I'm hearing, and but I'm hearing it everywhere, even on the forums and everything. So keep an eye out, and if I'll, I'll keep an ear out too. And if I hear anything, I'll let you guys know. So all right, I didn't order any candy cane soap when I was online because. I was like, ugh, candy cane, gross, peppermint, ooh, bleh. This does not smell like peppermint. Oh, it smells like Christmas. Can't wait to put our tree up, which we might not do. But anyways, okay. So, candy cane does not smell like the pepperminty kind of candy cane. What it smells like is those colorful ones, those colorful sweet ones that I enjoy. Um, I get those every year. That's what it smells like. Oh, it's so sugary. My boyfriend doesn't like this. It's got a hint of cherry. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So I got a good colored slice, and I got the little red in there. So it's a really pretty soap. I like it. I didn't get any snow cake because I'm still using up my... Snow cake? So I got that one. Uh, let's see what else. Northern Lights. Now this one I'm kind of mad because I did order this in my order, but I didn't remember it. Um, so I picked up another slice. And this is, ah, it just got underneath my nail. Red. They st they definitely need to sit out a little bit because they need to cure a little bit because they're really, really soft and melty. That's coming off. All right, so Northern Lights. I didn't get a very colorful piece. It's a very bright color, as you can tell. So, yeah, this is definitely manly. It kind of, it's kind of piney to me. Let's see if it says lime and cypress. Did I say that right, cypress? I know you guys will let me know. You always let me know if I say something wrong. Thanks. So this is definitely really manly. My boyfriend kind of likes it. But I have two slices of this now, so. Yay. Alright, now on to the order that actually came in the mail. Um, and if you haven't heard, the new Lush Times is out. Yay. It looks like this. Um, it's pretty good. I won't lie. Ah! I'm getting attacked. I know my boyfriend's already listening in, trying to see what... Um, what gifts I'm liking because I was like, oh, I kind of like that one. He's like, oh, why? What do you like in that one? And I'm like, I like this, this, and this, and I kind of look over at him. 
I'm like, oh, we're going to have another replay of last year, how I got all those gifts. I don't think I'm going to get all the gifts again this year because we are saving money towards the house. So, But a couple gifts will make me happy. All right, so as I said, I did get another slice of the Northern Lights. And this one, all right. This one has a little bit more color in it, so I got the red. It's got red, green, and this bright, bright neon yellow. All right, so let's see, what else? So samples that I got, let's see. Ah. Karma Soap. And what I do with my samples is when I sell on eBay, I actually use these as my samples. If you buy multiple products, I give you samples. So, and this is Red Rooster Soap, which, hmm, I don't know, kind of manly. And look how cute the melting snowman is. I mean, come on. How freaking adorable is he? I'm going to try to get him out. I squished him a little bit. When I first found it, I'm not going to even try to get him out because I'm going to break him apart in pieces. But he is so cute. And he lays flat like that. And he's melting. Every time I show people that don't know what Lush is, I show them like that one. They're like, wait, are those actual chocolate pieces? Yeah. They're cute. Okay. So when I was in the store, I smelled Rocketeer, and to be quite honest, I couldn't smell anything. It was really kind of just, eh, it wasn't that strong, but when I got it in the mail, oh, <laughs> this is really nice. Look how cute. It's like, mm. this would be really cute for kids, especially little boys, because you know they'd be like, oh. It's supposed to actually like, you know, go across the water, kind of like a rocket. This smells 100% like Smarties. You know those little candy. Oh my god, that smells so good. Mm, and I love the glitter. It's so glittery. I love glitter. Mm. I did this, not this one, but I have another bath bomb in here. Golden Wonder. Which, again, is another amazing product. I'm really excited for the product this year. You know, so... I'm a lot more excited than I thought I was going to be. Because I was like, oh, I don't know, I wasn't 100% in love last year um, so yeah but so golden wonder all right smells so good it smells really clean and mm, lemony a little lemony the inside's blue i don't know if you've seen the demos online but you can do you know go on once you're done with my video go through and look at demos for this it's blue on the inside and can you hear that that's so cute there's little mini bath bombs in here so yeah, um, so very glittery. So what I did is I took the glitter that came off on my finger and I put it on my friend's hand and she's like, oh, I look like Kesha. So freaking cute. Hi, JJ, I know you're watching my videos now, so. But Golden Wonder smells amazing. This one, let's see, what does it have in it? Sweet orange oil, uh, cognac oil, lime oil. So I'm definitely getting a citrus kind of scent in there. And I'm, I'm just going to put it on my PJs. That's good. That's right. I'm wearing PJs. You guys can't see, but I'm trying to get my shirt to come back down. I keep sliding up because I'm still losing weight and my clothes don't fit me just right anymore. So, okay. I'm not even going to... I'm going to try to hold my breath when I take this out. I'm very upset about this. The Superstar Bubble Bar. I'm trying to keep my head away from it as much as possible. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to say right now, I'm not a fan. Very, 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 very strong on strawberry. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, Lush. I'm not a fan of that one. And I was really sad because I, I usually like the strawberry scents, but that one is extremely, extremely, extremely strong. Okay. Silver Cloud, which is, I believe, retro. Okay, let's see. What's in this one? Uh, that's weird. Beeswax. Lime oil. Citrus orange oil. He doesn't want to come out. Alright, here we go. I love the color of this one. And there's something about it. I do like this. But it's not going to be a fit, like a favorite. But he's really cute. And a lot of people love this, this bath bomb. So I was like, okay. It sounds like something I would really enjoy. I don't know how to... It's kind of musky. Like this would... Mm, like this would be a, a, a man's bath bomb. So... Really cute though. I like the colors. It's gonna be a really pretty bath. You put that one over there because it's gonna go all over my bed. And okay, so this is my favorite thing in this order. I'm really excited about this. 
And I forgot when I had my order and it came in and I was unwrapping it and I was looking at all this stuff. I was like, oh, okay, I, f I remember I ordered this. Yeah, I remember I ordered this. And then I saw this and I was like, oh, I forgot I ordered that. Ladies and gentlemen, Humango. And as you can tell from the way my hand, the size of my hand to this bath bomb. Look at the size of my face to this bath bomb. Well, it's Silver Cloud. I'll show you what Silver Cloud looks like next to Humango. Look how tiny. So freaking amazing. Okay, Humango. If you've never smelled Humango before, it smells exactly, and I mean almost exactly like Able Bath. Able Bath with a little bit of You've Been Mangoed. And there are pieces of You've Been Mangoed in this bath bomb. No, I'm not going to use this whole thing in a bath. This, oh my god, it smells so good. I love this scent. I love this. I think they should come out with this, like, full time. So, I don't think this is available online anymore. But look how big. I can't even wrap my whole hand around. It's so awesome. But yeah, pieces of You've Been Mangoed on the inside. It's very, very, very strong. That wake you up scent. So if you don't like that scent, this isn't the bath bomb for you. Um, I'm pretty sure you'll be seeing these online at an inflated price on eBay. I see that a lot these days. So, um, oh, it smells so good. Nom, nom, nom. Ah. So yeah, Humango. Amazing. $14.95 I believe it is, so almost $15 for one bath bomb. I'll probably get three or four baths out of this. I won't lie, probably like four. So amazing, huge all over my hands. Yep. And I believe that's it. My giveaway is still going on. I'll put a little link below um, telling you where to go for my giveaway. Um, I still got a long time till that giveaway ends. I mean, November 14th. That's, seems like I did this like a month ago, but it's still going strong. So, uh, make sure to put in your comment in my giveaway and put in there for it because I'm really excited. I'm up to 1112 I believe it is. So 1112 subscribers. So automatically you're getting two more products now. So if you guys get me up to 1200, I'm going to throw in two more products. So I'm really excited. I'm probably going to get up pretty high. So yay. Thank you so much. Um, I'll see everyone later. Bye.